Hello and welcome. My name is Vicky Marie and for today's 10 minute practice, we're going to be practicing our balances amongst our flow. So when you're ready, we're going to start standing at the top of your space, feet about hip width apart, soft knees. And just beginning to roll the shoulder blades down the rib cage, slightly lifting the chin, soft knees. And I'll just take a moment here to settle into our practice. As you begin to inhale, we'll begin to take the arms up overhead. Gaze can follow if it's comfortable for the neck. Exhaling, softening the knees, hinging at the waist, forward fold. Halfway lift, hands to thighs or shins. And then exhaling, fold. We'll do that one more time. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, fold. We're going to begin to plant the hands, stepping back with our right leg, runner's lunge. I'm just making sure you have the foundation with the fingertips. And then when you're ready, we're going to begin to take the arms up overhead. And bending that left knee. Check with the knees in line with the second and third toe, if that's how your body's made. We're going to take our first balance. So as you exhale, beginning to release the hands, we're going to straighten that left leg. Standing pyramid. Exhaling, bending that left knee, arms going up overhead. One more time, beginning to straighten that front leg, hands come down by the side, energy in the fingers. Inhaling up. Exhaling, beginning to release the hands to frame that front foot. We're going to begin to step back to our first downward dog, taking that left leg back. And downward dog. You can pedal bending one knee and then the other. We'll begin to take the gaze forward to walking, stepping or hopping the feet to the hands, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Begin to take the arms up overhead. Softening and hinging forward fold. Beginning to plant the hands. We're going to step back with our left foot. Runner's lunge. Again, making sure you have your foundation. Inhaling the arms up overhead. As we exhale, we're straightening that front leg as we release the hands. Inhaling up. Exhaling. Inhaling heavily, bending that front knee as the arms go up. We'll begin to release, framing that front foot. We're going to step back to a plank pose, taking that right leg back. A higher foundation. Beginning to release the knees, chest, chin. Beginning to slither forward, releasing the pelvis and the navel. Untucking the toes, coming into a cobra. Exhaling. Untucking the toes, coming back into our downward dog. Taking the gaze forward, walking, stepping or hopping. Feet to the hands. Halfway lift. And fold. We're gonna to begin to come into a chair, so you're gonna heavily bend the knees. Torso coming onto the chest. And we'll begin to take the hands to prayer to the heart space. You're beginning to lift the torso. And we're going to begin to take the arms up overhead, coming up to standing. 
Exhaling back to chair. Arms can stay up or back into the heart space. Inhaling up. Exhaling down into your chair. We're going to come up to standing, taking the arms up overhead. And we're going to begin to come into a warrior three. So you're going to begin, arms can stay in front, you might go out towards the side, so into airplane. I'm going to go sideways, I think. And then we're going to begin to bring the weight to that left foot, lifting the right heel, sliding back. You can stay here or beginning to lift. Toes are pointing down. Wherever we are, bringing that right foot to meet the left, arms are going up overhead. We'll do that one more time. Again, your choice, arms staying up overhead. Beginning to bring the weight to that left foot, lifting the right heel, sliding or stepping. Inhaling, right foot coming to meet the left. Exhaling into your chair. Inhaling, taking the arms up overhead. We're going to take us on the other side. So bring the weight into that right foot, lifting the left heel, sliding or stepping. Just letting the gaze come downward. And then begin to let that left foot meet the right as we take the arms up overhead. Last one, exhaling, lifting that left heel, beginning to hinge. And left foot coming to meet the right, arms going up overhead. Exhaling, sitting into your chair. Gently beginning to release the hands down towards the feet, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to plant the hands. We're stepping back to a plank pose. Knees, chest, chin. Slithering forward to your baby cobra, untucking the toes. Feeling the chest and the gaze away. Gently beginning to release the cobra. We're going to come into a downward dog, tucking the toes, coming onto the knees, and then downward dog. Two rounds of breath here. Meaning to gently release the knees down to the earth, tabletop. We're going to take some cat-cow, so begin to tuck the chin in, rounding the spine. Inhaling, releasing the navel to the earth, cow. One more time. And cow. Coming to a neutral spine, untucking the toes, coming to a brief child's pose, letting the sit bones come down towards the heels. Hands can stay in front. We might take the hands to prayer, maybe prayer to the back of the head. Leaning to gently release the hands down. And to inhale, lifting the torso. Coming to sitting on the heels. So we're just going to finish with two thunderbolts with our breath. So bring the hands down by your side. As you inhale, coming up onto the shins and the knees, taking the arms up overhead. Exhaling, gently releasing. One more time, inhaling up. 
Exhaling, release. Beginning to take the hands together at the heart space and taking two rounds of breath here. Gently beginning to release the head to the hands in gratitude for carving out this time to invest it in your practice and your well being. And thank you for sharing this 10 minute flow with me. If you'd like to check out any of my other 10 minute practices, check out the playlist in the description, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.